I would like to now ask Bernard Cloutier to give the valedictory address. Thank you. Chancellor Wiener, President and Vice Chancellor Shepard, Dr. Martel, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families and friends, I have the honor to be standing here today and the privilege to give this address on behalf of the graduating students. To the illustrious class of 2019, I say congratulations. This is indeed a triumph. And before we go any further, I wanted to say a few words about what we're celebrating today. Endings are always very unique moments. Farewells can be a time of sadness, and when we leave our carefree years behind, we lose something. They can also be hopeful for when in our life another chapter ends, a new one begins. And it is at times like this one that it becomes imperative for us to take a step back, look at what we have achieved, and be proud. Because for many of us here today, our journey was challenging to say the least. For me, studying in my, in my second language was definitely a challenge. <laughs> um, coming here, I had to engage with people, present, study in a language I felt terrible at. I had to learn a whole new vocabulary and even had to learn uh, English acronyms. Um, I remember my first morning at Concordia. I was running. I couldn't find my classroom. Uh, escalators and hall were under maintenance, <laughs> surprisingly. And I was late for class, surprisingly. A phone in hand, that's when I stopped a fellow student to ask them, um, where can I find room TBD? <laughs> yeah, that happened, that happened. The student smiled, uh, kindly told me that TBD meant to be determined and uh, showed me where to find my classroom. It stuck with me that a complete stranger would take time to help me. Uh, in that moment, I knew I had stumbled into a very unique place, and I felt relieved. That relief quickly vanished when I realized what Loyola campus meant and, and uh, how late I was going to be for class. <laughs> but for some of us here today, the challenges took on different, sometimes scarier form. Managing a handicap, moving away from home, navigating cultural differences or even heartbreaks. But it does not matter what your Goliaths were. The fact that you are here today means that you soldiered on. It means that we, as a community, soldiered on. And because with every season exa exam season that came to pass, we had friends ready to study with us. We had the warriors at ECA and CSU organizing events, throwing crash courses at us, societies and mentors ready to help. And we stood like battalions, waging a war against life's incessant barrage of curveballs, occupying couches, library seats, and capstone rooms until the break of dawn. But all of this we did always together. And because community is what we're celebrating today. You, the Concordia community. Never would I have imagined such a vibrant, smart, and open group of people could even exist. During my time here, I saw student societies redefine what the words hard work and dedication mean. I saw SCS and IEEE organize more industry-relevant workshops that I could count. I saw Hack Concordia organize the second biggest hackathon in the history of Canada. I saw Space Concordia work with a team to get mandated to launch something into space. And I saw women in engineering do amazing work around inclusivity, gender equality, and remind us that women were and always will be paramount to the field of engineering. But I could be here all day to name you all. But what I saw were humans armed with knowledge and at the ready to help one another without asking for anything in return. For the sacrifices I saw so many of you make, trading sleep and points off your GPA to give back to the community and ensure Concordia always shined in every conceivable competition out there. To that, I say thank you. You have made our time here truly special. I would be remiss if I did not extend a warm thank you to the administration, 
the faculty, and everyone in between who set out since day one to make sure we all make it to the end. And to the professors that captivated our imaginations, that left us breathing room to think, and to those who empathize with us when in our lives all hell broke loose. They were, and still are, sharp minds committed to our future. Special thanks to Dr. Fanka, Dr. Clark, and Dr. Hannah. Gigantic thank you to the non-academic staff, without most of which I would literally not be here today. These are the men and women who fought system glitches, bureaucratic hurdles, and provided us with counseling, resources, healthcare, and so much more. Special thanks to Martine, to Roger. And last but not least, I wanted to thank the parents, the families, the champions that stood with us along the way that raised us, mentored us, and never, ever lost faith in what we could achieve. The silent heroes that reminded us that since we survived numerical methods, we could do anything. <laughs> thank you. And to you, scientists and engineers, the, the future is now up to us. And before we set out into the confusing digital wilderness of 21st century Earth, I thought I'd share with you a bit of advice I was lucky enough to receive here at Concordia. It goes something like this. Number one, never stop learning. Talent is common, but what you invest to develop that talent is the critical final measure of greatness. Two, strive for excellence in every endeavor or project you take on. Uh, you'll realize it's easier to do a job right than to explain why you didn't. Number three, exercise empathy. In all relationships you build, companies you start, or system you design. Be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. And last but not least, dare. Dare to put a ding in the universe. Dare to stand up for what's right and to stand strong against what isn't and dare to fail. Because credit belongs to the woman or the man who's in the arena, whose face is mobbed by dust and sweat and blood, and who straves valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, and because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who spends himself or herself in a worthy cause, and who at best knows in the end the triumph of achievement and who at the worst, if he or she fails, at least fails while daring greatly? Theodore Roosevelt. Et en terminant, je souhaite remercier la communauté de Concordia de m'avoir accueilli à bras ouverts il y a plus de quatre ans de cela. Il n'y a pas si longtemps, la devise de Concordia était une vraie éducation pour le vrai monde. Et aujourd'hui, ce monde, je crois que nous sommes prêts à l'affronter. Et à l'illustre classe de 2019, je vous dis félicitations. And as much as no one here is actually wearing a hat, may your hats fly as high as your dreams. Thank you. Bernard, I have to thank you on behalf of the entire convocation. Those remarks were indeed highly motivating, and I have a feeling that no matter what challenges you have in life, you will overcome them. Congratulations. Congratulations.